right, so this is a 2017, I think, 2017 Toyota Tacoma, uh, four door, uh, and then it's got a Kaya 2 uh, camper on it. It's a, uh, a Malibu cab. Uh, we're just going to do a real quick walk around. Everybody kind of sent us some messages while we were out and about posting on Instagram. They wanted to see what it looked like. All the compartments, kind of see what it looked like set up. So we're going to go over there. So on this side, um, this is just a simple truck, uh, not anything super fancy. It is a TRD off road. Uh, it's very simple on the inside. First compartment, uh, storage for the propane. It's got a little bit of storage in the extra. Um, it's got a little protection here um, because up in this front corner is actually where the uh, the tube is at for the fresh water fill. And then it also has the outside shower that, uh, that we use actually quite a little bit. Every compartment has a light. It has a red and, an, uh, and a white light in it. So, um, in the front up here, right up next to where the uh, the outside shower is at, it actually has a pull out. You can kind of pull it out, pulls all the way out, so you can hang a shower curtain from it. Okay. Next compartment. Okay, the next compartment actually has all the electrical components and everything in it. Uh, the charging uh, it actually has where you can plug in uh, for an extension cord. So if you're sitting for short power, it keeps everything charged. Um, and it's got all the everything, all the components to start charging for the uh, the solar. It also has a diesel heater in here, uh, all the components for that, and then it also has um, a small air compressor in the inside of this compartment, and just a few little places where you can hang some utilitarian kind of things, and of course a uh, light for the inside of this compartment. We didn't get in here very often, um, didn't really need to. Um, port for air compressor. the air compressor. And then this particular one actually has an assist. Uh, that's what the small air compressor is for. So it actually will uh, pop up the roof and push up for the tent. Well, the air compressor be used for air down tires. And you could use that for air down the tires. And the airbags that are for suspension. Yes. And uh, yeah, obviously for tires. Uh, back of the camper's got some poly panels. Uh, we use that to hang a few things on. Didn't use it a whole lot. Uh, this one actually has a plate on the back of it, which is pretty cool on the back of the door. Uh, this is made out of aluminum, and that is actually a platform for the outside shower, which was pretty cool. So, um, did really like that. I want to show you that before we flip that up so you can see it otherwise. So, over on this side, this is really nice. We like this portion of it. On this side, this is the outside kitchen. Uh, this thing came equipped with just about everything you could possibly need. Um, this is just a, a soft panel pantry um, where you can put all your soft, all your goods for your for your food, you know, your dry goods, those kind of things. That was super handy. Um, everything that you need had bungees over it, so it held it in place really, really well. We didn't have anything rattle loose that worked really, really, really well. All really um, good equipment too. And just really good equipment. So, CS, uh, what was it? CS, SC, what kind of brand was it? Um, there was a lot of GSI yeah. um, and just some different stuff, but a lot of GSI. It worked really well. Yeah, uh, some front runner stuff, but everything was really good. It also has a table that actually is, is up against here. It clips onto here, it comes out. We, we used it a couple mm -hmm. times. Um, it it seemed to well. work pretty well, but it's a little high, but it did work pretty well. And then on this, this compartment, this one's just basically storage. Uh, we put a few of our gallon fresh water tanks, or uh, fresh Water goods. gallons in here, which work pretty well on the bottom. Uh, a little more pa uh, pantry storage if you need to, but you can put anything you want to in there. Actually, works pretty well. Up top, uh, 270 I cab awning. This thing is fabulous. We use this a lot, especially in the heat, the desert, uh, and it was awesome. Even we had a little bit of rain, it worked awesome. Sets up really easy, tears down really easy. This thing is great. Um, that was awesome too. Uh, uh, the table's good. The table's really neat. This has a slide out table, uh, unpins and slides out, sets right up. Uh, aluminum, really lightweight. Um, move it anywhere. It works really good. You can pick it up, move it around anywhere you need to. Works really, really well. So, this has a couple pull pins. Pull it, drops the steps down. Okay. And you open this up, just this back hatch. Okay, the back hatch comes up. It's got. Um, Storage pockets, but before I do that, let me do this. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you do this. You gotta unpin it. Okay, now you can use the assist if you like. I didn't I didn't necessarily. Um, and I just use the steps before you do the hat. Just kind of get this little push. It kind of just goes up, the tent does, it kind of sets up itself. 
okay? Um, it does have some spring, some spring sets for, for the tent itself, um, some spring bars to bring out the rain fly and everything. Uh, those, this tent uh, on the outside, this particular screen and the screen on this side does unzip. So you could actually get a ladder up and down if you needed to or if you wanted to. Um, and the hatch can come up. On the inside, just as you step on the inside, it has uh, storage boxes on both sides. And then it has some zips um, on both sides, if you can see that. Uh, this one actually has the uh, partner stove on this side. It holds that and then they also put in additional bungees in so if you can see that and then on this side it has a collapsible wash tub and uh, it's got uh, spots for storage the the uh, tubs on the bottom were empty so you could use those for just about anything that you possibly could want lift that cushion up okay um you can see that the platform for the bed is down okay so you've got a little bit of a little bit of area here to put some stuff from storage so the general idea is just to give this push and it just goes up on struts, okay? Then so now you have the, the back side or the, of the smaller portion of the bed. crawl in there. And then you can crawl in. And once you're in, you can just give the front one a little push, okay? And the front portion of the bed goes up. Now, um, then you can move things around. This kind of has this U shaped dinette in here um we have all of our sleeping arrangements in here right now just kind of actually those here. can go on the bed but those once you can get go to bed lay up. side on the bed right they, they can stay in the bed when the bed's up in that upright position the bed all those pillows blankets can stay on the beds the whole time right we just have them down because we're getting ready to return the bed or return the yeah unit. just we're getting ready to return it so um this thing has a lot of little pockets things like that in, in, the, in the, uh, on the hatch um it, uh, we, we discovered it's got some usb and some DC plugs. It's got little lights on both sides of the tent, which actually turned out to be kind of handy. Um, it also has some storage up front here. If you can see that, it has some zip storage, zip storage on top. That's, that's generally where the chairs go, but it has a little zip storage in the front. The extra cushions, actually that when you unzip it. So if someone wants to make this right here into a bed, you unzip that all the way down yep, and that they this. can actually put their feet through that too because there's cushions inside there so someone can sleep here and actually put their feet through it so a full size adult you can put four people two upstairs and two down here correct here so. so you could sleep four if you needed to uh this platform does lift up so you can access your refrigerator and in behind your refrigerator um is battery water heater and, the, and a lot of the electronics and those kind of things um that you can access once if you pull the refrigerator out of there um, but it has a, a gigantic uh, refrigerator and freezer and freezer and, which was and, handy because uh, we had ice the whole time yes that was super nice uh, on this side of the um on this side of the camper this this it was it seemed a little awkward to us but it was handy to have but it does have a little bold sink um which was kind of nice the drains are on the outside faucet uh, and it does have a faucet and the faucet kind of folds out has a little water pump switch. You can turn that on. Um, that's kind of nice. Half the time, but some, most of the time, if it was nice out, we did our dishes outside in the collapsible sink with right. the outside shower faucet. Right. We just run some water and just did it that way. This wasn't so bad though. It did it did work out pretty handy. Um, and then you just fold it back up. Okay. Um, and then this side here as well has got a. You, most of the time, we had these cushions put away. And we use this as our surface for all of our self-care products and right. kept all of our personal and we just kept that as our countertop dresser top yeah surface. now this, this there is also a table correct Michelle? yep was, there's a laguna type table yep, so when we sit in here table. at night you could actually sit so and play cards and we never did we never used it um it we, is available to use we were uh, outside we did sit in here one night and eat dinner when it was raining out but we just basically sat in here mm -hmm. and ate off of our, our paper plates our, there's uh, enough room for two i wouldn't want more than two in here unless right. the bed was down but, uh, but anyways, um, that's kind of the scoop. Um, I'll call that. That's kind of the scoop. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick tour of it. Uh, Michelle and I will uh, uh, sit down uh, after we return it and we'll give you what we did like, what we didn't like, go over it, what we would change, what we wouldn't change. And um, 
And uh, anyways, just give uh, our final thoughts on it when we return from our trip. So we appreciate y'all watching the channel, following us along on our adventures on Instagram and on YouTube, and uh, we will see you on the next trip.